Well, people are pouring into Central Texas by the hundreds every day. And as our cities grow, so do the schools and concerns about safety. So Bastrop ISD is one of the latest to create its own police department. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis explains how the move will make a difference. We don't want our officers to be minutes away when seconds count. Crowded neighborhoods. What's up, man? How you doing? What are you going to do this weekend? Uh, Crowded schools. Cool. Well, I just want to stop and say hi, all right? And more chances that something is going to happen where an officer is needed. We're able to address issues as they rise almost instantly. Each Bastrop ISD police officer is bringing something valuable to the table. I've always loved to interact and help with youth. Like Officer Javier Flores, a bilingual speaker. They've also hired a mental health officer. They're getting specialized training and learning the layouts of the 16 campuses. There has definitely been a change. The police officers are more involved with our students. They're not so much a foreboding force. Chief Yarbrough <laughs> says the district is growing fast. Yeah, what class are you going to? And the call volumes have been going up. While the two main high schools will always have an officer on campus, schools like Cedar Creek Middle will not. That's why there's always an officer on patrol ready to respond quickly. The team is working on emergency management plans, but also on relationships. They're more part of the school. You're not afraid to talk to them. You're not afraid to say hi. It's definitely a better change. Hey, yo, good weekend, all right? Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. Next week on Tuesday, the community is invited to come meet with that department. A Spanish speaking only session starts at 530 in the evening and English starts at 630. The event will be at Cedar Creek Middle School. In August, we told you Hutto ISD also decided to form a police department. The district says it did so because it found school district officers would respond faster and have specific training for incidents at school. Hutto ISD Police Chief Rick Stone just finished the application process for potential officers last month. The goal is to have that department up and running by July in time for the next school year. Now, in order to set up a police force with the school district, the board must file the proper paperwork to comply with the School Board Act. A district also files with the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement. And finally, a district sets up an agreement with local law enforcement to set up campus jurisdiction. Yeah, everybody 